British Volt, the UK battery manufacturing pioneer, have asked me to make a film about their internal culture of ESG, environmental, social and governance. Because making hundreds of millions of batteries throws up tens of thousands of ESG challenges. Things like making sure all the materials are sustainably sourced, that everything is recyclable, that it's renewable energy and that the footprint is low carbon. Plus, you have to cherish, empower and upskill your people, not forgetting performing engineering miracles every single day. These are some of the greatest challenges of our times. For British Volt ESG is everything. It's about family, it's about society, it's about the environment. Being a startup is actually a good thing because we can embed it vertically integrated into every single department from day one. ESG, if it's done properly, is not just something for the 3,000 people that will work in the factory, but it goes out into the community. It's about the socio-economic uplift that you provide the community that you're positioned in. It's also about how you interact with the environment, but also it's about holding all the businesses you work with, your supply chain, you hold them to the same principles and standards. So ESG has to go right the way down to the raw materials and to our component suppliers. So we're dealing with very traditional supply chains. Some of these processes haven't been looked at for 70 to 100 years. And we really need to, as a company, bring those supply chains into the modern world. We've got to innovate moving forwards because we've got to take the carbon out of the supply chain. We've got to be more energy efficient with those conversion processes. And we need to take care of the people that are operating and working in the supply chain, regardless of where they are in the world. Raw materials will be tracked with strategic partner Circular and the battery manufacturing will be powered by renewable energy. By setting new standards, British Vault will influence the entire supply chain to work smarter, efficiently and more responsibly. So we're using a system of measurement of the entire carbon footprint for all of the components, all of the elements, all of the minerals and all of the supply chain that enters into create a battery of the future, including our footprint in our factories. And that ultimately assures the quality of that product, but also ensures its carbon footprint is where we need it to be. By us setting the bar high, by us going out and showing to the world that this can be done, the way we've built everything from scratch and embedded ESG into the DNA of the company, we will prove to the world that this is the way it can be done and should be done. By setting and increasing the bar, we will then put pressure on others to act fast and accelerate this race to net zero. We are working with some of the world's leading consultants to develop a core industry benchmark for ESG, for total cost of ownership, against which we aim to measure ourselves and which we hope the rest of the industry will measure ourselves based on reliable, assured data. And the data involved in British Volt's battery gigaplant is significant. 93 hectares of brownfield land, that's 50 full-sized football pitches on the site of the old Blythe coal-fired power station, which will become the fourth largest building in the UK and the biggest single site mobilisation of the last 40 years. Renewable energy from hydroelectric plants in Norway and wind farms in the North Sea go directly into the national grid interconnector. On the roof will be up to 28 megawatts of solar panels, while close rail and sea links will reduce the need for carbon-heavy road transport. But choosing this site was no accident. I think that site is a national treasure. And I say that because we only have six, seven operating gigafactories in Europe. We have over 100 operating gigafactories in China. It's a national treasure because we need to localize our supply chain in order to remove that embedded carbon footprint within that supply chain. It's a national treasure because it's front-loaded with renewable. It's a national treasure because it has rail access. It has deep sea port access. It's a national treasure because it's a site that has planning permit. The only site that has planning permit in entire Europe, except for North Fault. They're close to production now. So looking at the geopolitical framework in terms of lithium-ion batteries, what we have up in Blythe is a national treasure. The Northumberland site is really, really has been 
one of the things that drives this business forward. And that's because you can't just put gigafactories anywhere. The power requirements are very significant. And the site at you know, Camis has got this fantastic grid connection. And then the grid connection itself is, is interesting because of course, this was two fossil fuel power stations it was connected to. They're gone, that era has gone. And we've repurposed that old fossil fuel infrastructure to supply the electricity you know, for a modern zero carbon factory. So yes, we see a sender battery out the door, goodbye, but you know what? We want to see you back again in a few years time because we want to shred that battery, recycle it, extract the valuable minerals and give it a second purpose, send it out the door again. Recycling will be a core value of British Volt's ESG strategy, and not just the recycling of end of life batteries, but making sure that the raw materials coming into the gear plant and the production processes are all centered around maximum recyclability. British Vault wants to stimulate a UK battery recycling industry so that the critical minerals harvested can go back into the supply chain, like a, a kind of virtuous circle of recyclability. Metals, minerals, components will be reused, not just once, but twice and maybe even three times. Nothing that can be wasted will be wasted. Recycling is essentially the future of British Vault. It's essentially the future of batteries. Uh, at the moment, we're trying to build in recycling into the structure of what we're doing, and we're also trying to build it into the design of the batteries itself. And we hope, in due course, that 70 to 80 percent of the materials will come back into the life cycle. Looking at climate change, looking at the decarbonisation strategies of the governments, the only tool that we have in our fight against climate change are batteries. But if you're going to save the world, you have to start today. And today, we can only save the world with lithium-ion batteries. The social pillar of ESG is created by lots of amazing evangelical people whose ideas cascade down through the organisation and change the perceptions and the presumptions of literally hundreds of others. So my job title is Culture, Inclusion and Belonging Manager. And that sense of belonging is so, so important. For us to build that and get people who are spending, what, eight hours a day at work, that is so, so important. That really builds that value, builds that brand of inclusiveness, and it allows people to really, really give their absolute most. Putting our people right at the heart of this organisation. Too many organisations that I've worked for previously have said they're going to do it. They build a strategy. But most of those strategies sit on a shelf, gathering dust. I don't want that. I want our strategy to be led by our people, felt by our people, and delivered by our people. British Vault is passionate in its ESG agenda about the community. And it's really important that as we, we seek to level up and grow uh, Northumberland with this huge investment, that we bring the people of Northumberland with us. And they're amazing. They're passionate about the project already, they're engaging in all, of, all manner of ways with our project and we're so inspired to be partnering with them on this creation. So this is your community, Tracy. Yeah. This is the high street. How is this going to change when British folk comes here? I think in, in lots of ways. I think, you know, primarily obviously with the opportunities of jobs, that has a wider impact around social mobility and um, economic impact as well. It's just thinking about that wider piece around not just that job, it's that wider impact as well. So it will transform communities, absolutely. And are you seeing and hearing a kind of expectation and energy? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, communities are buzzing and, and people are really excited about what's going on. And, you know, it's not just about communities as well. It's sort of the local authorities and DWP and, and local government. And so it's, it's, it's very clear that, that everybody sees the, the amazing impact that this is going to have. The BV Future Gen Foundation will educate, upskill and enable local communities and is a central pillar of British Vault's social commitment in their ESG strategy. 
So M and Co will be the flagship building of BV Future Gen Foundation. It's really exciting and really personal for me because I keep my school in Ashington and it's a department store that I used to visit with my mum. And this will be where the education and training actually happens to prepare people for employment opportunities, as well as a fantastic interactive STEM museum facility for schools and young people to come and be inspired to be tomorrow's climate advocates and scientists and engineers. It's fantastic starting with a clean slate, listening to communities, listening to schools, identifying needs and moulding our offer around that. For the first time, we able to have the resource and the, the expertise behind us to be able to, to make genuine impact that isn't duplicating what's happening already. This is brand new, this is different. And to have that, that longer term impact, this isn't just about the here and now, this is about young people and children who are coming up and leave that legacy as well. It's overwhelming, it's phenomenal. I think British Vault has a change the world DNA. It runs through all of us that work for the company. We're all committed to this mission. We all have a passion for it and we all want to see it succeed. Before I joined British Vault, I spoke with a number of people and I could see the enthusiasm and ESG was already embedded within the business. It was there. Everybody wanted it. It was a pull within the business. It was embedded within the business. I've not seen that in much of my career before. I've worked in a lot of industries, in a huge variety from automotive through heavy metals, you know, industries that do pollute. And I really feel that what we're doing now is, is, is going to change all that for the better. It doesn't bring less opportunities, it brings more opportunities. We're just expanding, you know, the reach and the potential, you know, and I don't think people really get it and they need to. Well, British Vault is looking at a, a once in a generation opportunity to help the world transition away from its addiction to fossil fuels. And we have the skills, we have the people and the passion to deliver on this. I've been here for five months and I'm immensely proud to be part of this team. It's an incredible journey and the direction of travel is staggering. We're going to create jobs, add value, we're going to develop a battery and a product that will help transform how we drive and how we transport materials. I would like to have played a small part in the role of British Vault, enabling poorer countries to have access to renewable energy by allowing them to get access to static storage systems for their new energy grids. I would like to see British Vault having had a major impact on having access to clean air, and I'd like British Vault to be one of the main reasons for how the world transitioned from fossil fuels to renewable energy. There's not many chances in your life to make a fundamental difference. But we have one now. My colleagues and I at British Vault have a chance to make a massive difference to the future of the planet. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. And we love it. It's very difficult to make a difference when things are flowing, they used to flow in a certain way, and you want to come and change that. Make a difference in terms of being able to leave a legacy, being able to leave something behind for my son to be proud of. But more importantly, maybe leaving a world behind that is still sustainable. For British Vault, ESG isn't an empty acronym or another tick in a box. It's a theology. It's a belief. It's a personal passion. Because cherishing people, having the highest standards of governance, and the greatest environmental sensibilities are simply the right things to do. And there's so much personal passion in British Vault that they feel they can power their way in the vital race to net zero.